are some of my pieces I've made. Um, this piece here, uh, me and my son, we like to go on a lot of footpath walking in local area, Ceredigion, Pembrokeshire. Um, but this is based on um, a little field locally in, in springtime um, where, you know, the buttercups were beautiful and golden and um, we couldn't resist taking the picture and um, working on it afterwards with bringing together elements of different materials, um, which is what I liked. This one um, is kind of on the theme of rural Wales and um, the importance of the traditional way of life here really. Um, farmers, um, it's actually based at Munt because there's a farm near Munt um, where they do camping, but <clears throat> this one was just, um, I had met the farmer there actually and I just got inspired to do a piece on him because I do feel strongly about the protection of r rural Wales and the traditional ways of life here. Um, I feel that it's very important. Um, and then this piece here, I, I just like to work with different materials, bringing pieces together. Um, bits of old driftwood mainly, it's made of driftwood. Um, and just bits really. So yeah, mixed media is what I love. Um, and animals I love, so it's called Be Kind to Animals. And I, that's another one of my passions is um, campaigning for anti-cruelty. Um, in cosmetics, etc. So, yep, that's what that piece is about. <laughs> so these pieces I've made are, um, again, like I've mentioned, I'm, um, I feel very strongly about um, the protection of rural Wales. Um, I belong to the Campaign for the Protection of Rural Wales, um, which is an organisation that um, campaigns to protect the countryside from invasive um, technologies like wind farms and um, anything that might destroy a beauty spot so um, yeah these set pieces really are to celebrate the rural ways of life in Wales and the need for its protection because um, you know um, as we know rural areas are being um, modernized very quickly and we need to protect what we have um, in the uh, rural landscapes and the rural parts of our country so yeah these pieces are just um, bringing together objects I've found a lot of them on walks I've been on in um, in the local um, areas I we go on footpaths like I mentioned and I'll just pick up a piece of wood or an old nail here and there going past a farm and um, put some old tin <laughs> and just put them together and make something beautiful I like to bring um, different elements and different materials together to that might otherwise have been thrown away or rusted away and might not be very attractive to look at um, just an old piece of wood for someone but to bring it together into a composition where it has a place um, it's what I like to do because it life is kind of about that it's about bringing different elements together and making it work, you know, work of what you've got. So whatever you've got, you just make the best of. So I do that with materials. Um, I just get materials, put them together, and make something hopefully beautiful. That's what I, I quite value, um, beauty in art. So <clears throat> that's my, one of my aims, I guess. Um, so this one is a, um, a dovecot, dovecot, did I say that? Um, on the way to Clendilo and it's just a beautiful old farm building and in the springtime with the buttercups it was just beautiful um, just felt inspired to to produce that piece um, <clears throat> this one this piece going on here is um, actually that's a Pembrokeshire piece it's Conningley Mountain where we used, we used to walk a lot we used to live there so this piece is based on Conningley Mountain, um, I guess in the autumn time when, um, you know, there's the, the colours and, and reds and different autumny colours. Um, and again, bringing pieces together. Um, this one, again, another scene in um, 
Pembrokeshire, where we used to live. Um, just a rural scene with an old farm, with an old tin shed and um, some livestock there. Um, yeah, the same with here. This is um, more to going towards Clan Clooney. Um, there's a, um, a mountain called Clan Clooney Mountain and we go walking there and there's lots of sheep and bits of old tin that I like to pick up and um, old farms and yeah, that's that's based on and um, and then this one is uh, where we go walking in um, locally um, just a footpath um, actually that's near my that's near where we used to live as well Pembrokeshire so yeah just um, bringing together elements like an old paint an old paintbrush for the sign nails and some bits of tin I've collected along the way um, and driftwood of course from local beaches same with these pieces they're uh, um, all, all along the same sort of lines of uh, bringing together <coughs> different elements and um, making something pleasant to the eye, I guess. Um, nice to look at. <laughs> and then this one, um, I also like love like, legends, all the old legends of Wales and um, this is just an, a legend um, about a giant um, uh, who's um, King Arthur's knights went after him and on a very windy day and um, yeah, I, they, they found him in the end around a campfire but I just thought I'd portray him um, on his way, running away from the night. <laughs> so this is the giant <clears throat> uh, of Tictrus. Um, and uh, that's all really. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.